video from me, Mr. Arnold, and in this video we're going to be working on percentage of an amount. Now, before we start, just to let you know, there are many, many different ways of finding the percentage of an amount. Um, the method I'm going to show you here, I think, is the best method to use in terms of our exams, and it will prepare us for the exams in year 10 and 11. So, I think we might as well kill two birds with one stone here. So, in order to find the percentage of an amount, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the decimal equivalent. So in order to do this, you really need to be quite competent with long multiplication, and you need to be competent with multiplying by decimals. So let's have a look. First question, I'm going to multiply 39. I want 12% of it. So I'm going to multiply by the decimal equivalent of 12%, which is 0 0.12. So I work out what 12% is, as a decimal, and then I'm going to multiply that by 39. So it's going to be 39 times 0 0.12. Okay, now I'm just using the regular column method of multiplication. I'm going to go 2 times 9 is 18, down the 8, carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 add 1 is 7. So that's the first part multiplied. Now I'm going to do I'm going to put down a zero first, and then I'm going to say 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. Draw my line and add these together. 8 and 0 is 8. 7 and 9 is 16. Put down the 6 and carry 1. And 1 and 3 is 4. Now, that's just regular long multiplication that I've done. And the last thing we got to do is take care of this decimal point. My question had two decimal places in it. Let's just highlight them. We've got, we've got a decimal place here and here. So we've got two different decimal places. So my answer must have two decimal places as well. And we count from right to left. So one, two, and that's where my decimal place goes. So 12% of 39 is 4.68. And that's it. That's the question done. Now, you could always do it this way. You can always work out 10%. You could work out 1%. And then double the 1% to get 2%. And then add the 10% and the 2% to get 12% overall. That, in my opinion, is an awful lot longer than doing this. So I think this is the best method to go with. Let's have a look at the second question. I want 27% of 198 So, I'm going to multiply by the decimal equivalent. What is the decimal equivalent of 27%? Well, it's 0 0.27. To convert any percentage to a decimal, we just divide by 100. So, I'm going to multiply 198 times 0 0.27. Now, let's work our way through it. 7 times 8 is 56. Put down the 6, carry the 5. 7 times 9 is 63, 63 and 5 is 68, put down the 8, carry the 6, and then 7 times 1 is 7, 7 add 6 is 13. That's the first part multiplied. We just change colours here. So I'm going to put down the 0, and then multiply by 2. 2 times 8 is 16, put down the 6, carrying 1. 2 times 9 is 18, 18 add 1 is 19. Put down the 9, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 add 1 is 3. I'm going to draw my line and I'm going to add these two numbers together. So 6 and 0 is 6, 8 and 6 is 14. Put down the 4, carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4, 4 and 9 is 13. Put down the 3, carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 3 is 5. So 27% of 198. Well, before I can finish it off, I've got to make sure that I've included my decimal place. We have two decimal places in my question, so my answer must also have two decimal places. And counting from right to left, 1, 2, boom. That is where my decimal place goes. So 27% of 198 is 53.46. As I said before, we could always work out 
by dividing this by 10. And then I could work out 1% by dividing my answer by 10 again, work out 2%, work out 20% by doubling it. Really, for me, this is an awful long method. I think it's easier to just get competent with a long multiplication, multiplying by decimals, and we get our answer fairly quickly. Alright, last one. So I want 37.5% of 87. What is 37.5%? Well, as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.375. This one will take a little bit longer, but again, it's the same technique. So it's going to be 87 multiplied by 0 0.375. Point three seven five. Right, so I say 5 times 7 is 35. Put down the 5, carry the 3. 5 times 8 is 40, 40, and 3 is 43. That's step 1 done. Now I'm multiplying by the next digit along. So column multiplication always says that I put a 0 here, and now I'm going to multiply by 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Put down the 9, carry the 4. 7 times 8 is 56. 56 add 4 is 60. Put down the 6 and the 0. Now I'm going to multiply by 3. Let's just get another colour here. Let's go to the green. So this time, it's the third digit across, so I must put two zeros, and now multiply by 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Put down the 1, carry the 2. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 and 2 is 26. Put down the 2 and the 6. Draw my line and I'm going to add these together. 5, 0, and 0 gives me. Hang on a second, we'll just move this up a little bit. And let's go to the black pen. 5, 0, and 0 gives us 5. 3 and 9 and 0 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 1 and 4 is 5. 5 and 1 is 6. 6 and 6 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. And then 1 and 2 is 3. Again, like I said before, we must count the number of decimal places in my question at the beginning and then make sure that my answer has the exact same number of decimal places. This one has 1. To three decimal places so again counting from right to left this one must have one two three decimal places and boom that's where the decimal place goes and let me see if I can pull up a calculator here and show you that this is correct So I'm going to do 87 times 0 0.375. So 87 times 0 0.375, 32.625. Thankfully, all of my calculations were correct there, and my answer is correct. So if you have any questions on this method or anything to add, please feel free to uh, post or leave a comment. And I will see you again sometime. Take it easy.